Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Good evening to all of you in YouTube land. I am happy to continue this more than a walkthrough series of videos starring the Pride Tarot, a collaborative deck, published by U.S. Game Systems in April 2020, proving that some good things did happen in 2020. And guess what? We're at a new suit. Here is the Ace of Cups from the Suit of Cups from the Pride Tarot, illustrated by Polly Fay. If that name sounds familiar, it is because Polly Fay, also known as Paulina Cassidy, illustrated the High Priestess card in this deck as well. So that means that I will include the description, I will include a link for my video about the High Priestess card from the Pride Tarot and the description box for this video for the Ace of Cups. I'm going to leave them there. I'm going to leave them there, but I'm going to focus on the Ace of Cups. I am very happy that we are beginning a new suit. And this is written in, oh, Polyphase Insignia is a bind rune. And I know those two runes. I'll get to that in a little bit. Ace of Cups by Polyphay. The Ace of Cups is bursting at the seams with an abundance of love, joy, and tranquility. He's a compassionate ambassador of new beginnings, and the energy of, of new beginnings, and the energy of such, excuse me, flows from the life-giving waters of his chalice. His message is, put your past behind you and be present in the now. Let go of that which no longer serves you and live your life to the fullest. The flow of love is endless. It's the most powerful force in the universe. Living in a city. When open to it, you shall receive all the love and support you seek. You know, it's so funny because Traditionally, the Ace of Cups corresponds to the date of the summer solstice. And the summer solstice in Western astrology, or at least the first day of the, the date of the summer solstice, or to my friends in the Southern Hemisphere, the first day of winter, is the date, astrologically speaking, when the sun enters Cancer. The High Priestess card is astrologically aligned with the Moon, which is the astrological ruler of the Sun sign Cancer. And tomorrow, Monday, Day of the Moon, is the date of the full Moon in Capricorn, the polar opposite of Cancer. I really want to highlight, and I really feel guided and led to reread, the message that this Ace of Cups ambassador is bringing. Put your past behind you and be present in the now. Let go of that which no longer serves you and live your life to the fullest. The flow of love is endless. It's the most powerful force in the universe. When open to it, you shall receive all the love and support you seek. And I'm going to... I'm actually, can you tell me, Drake, if that, if they can see the bind room? Okay, so the top part is Wunyo, capital W-U-N-J-O, and that's the rune of joy. And the lower part is Fehu. Fehu translates as cattle, but it also is the rune of wealth. I can't tell you how many times I've read a book on money magic and prosperity magic, and it includes Fehu. I'm going to reconfirm that in the description box, but I'm pretty sure that that's Fehu. I've been reconnecting with the runes lately, um, so... So I'm, I'm feeling guided and led to review some of the materials that I've read about the runes so far. I, I have a feeling that I need to read more, which I'll be doing. 
I want to thank U.S. Game Systems for publishing the Pride Tarot, a collaborative deck. I want to thank Polly Fay, also known as Paulina Cassidy, oh, I haven't read her bio yet, um, for illustrating both the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups cards in this deck. I will conclude my thank yous momentarily. Polly Fay, also known as Paulina Cassidy. Where are you? You're under F for Fay. Yes. Polly Fay, a.k.a. Paulina Cassidy, creates her work using watercolor and pen slash ink. A designer of tarot and oracle card decks since 2007, Polly draws a passage into worlds born of intuition and imagination. She is the creator of Paulina Tarot, Joie de Vivre Tarot, Spirit Song Tarot, Witchling's Deck, and Pixiekin's Deck. Paulina is also a songwriter and recording artist for Project Records. Project spelled capital P-R-O-J-E-K-T and has produced seven full-length albums to date. You know, I can't help but think of the Michelle Swan Graham, whose YouTube channel is Swan of Dreamers, because she has... Um, I, I know for a fact that she has uh, the Paulina Tarot, and she has the Spirit Song Tarot. As a matter of fact, I had the honor and pleasure of giving her the Spirit Song Tarot, as a birthday gift. By the way, Michelle, which one of these decks do you not have? Because I'd be more than happy to give, the, give you those decks. I also want to thank the Michelle Swan Graham for not only being um, a beautiful soul, an amazing professional intuitive, uh, but also an overflowing uh, divine daughter of Guan Xi, the Chinese goddess of mercy, compassion, and forgiveness. And for being one of my closest friends also on planet Earth. And I want to thank all of you in YouTube land for not only honoring who I am and what I do, but for honoring Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person, for my YouTube videos, as well as everything he is, and does, and gives. And of course, thank you for all the likes, all the comments, all the shares, all the subscriptions to my YouTube channel, and an extra big and beautiful thank you to those of you who have scheduled your sessions. I wish all of you a beautiful night, a wonderful week, and stay tuned for the next video.